General Store. Coming up on the show, we're diving into ranked play, getting to know the game wardens, and counting down the top five things to keep in mind during qualifying season. All that and more starts right now. We're bucking around. Oh. Live on Twitch. <laughs> Welcome back to Bucking Around, everybody. I'm Callum Fletcher, and I'm joined by the incredible Mike Colesworthy. Hello. The magnificent Jess Petro. Hey, how's it going? And Jess. Hi, everyone. <laughs> She's all right. As Mike said, guys, we've got an awesome <laughs> show lined up. We're going to be talking about the rank play, the game wardens, and some tips and tricks for qualifying. But before yes. we do that, why don't we just recap last week for those who may have missed it? Sure, sure, sure. Previously on Bucking Around. <laughs> it was our pilot episode. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, we talked a little bit about what the show is, what our goals are for it. Uh, we looked at some new content that you can enjoy right now on Big Buck HD. And we made some huge world championship announcements, including a record-shattering $100,000 prize pool and a $20,000 top prize. Incredible. Awesome. Ugh. And if you guys watched the episode, you would have seen us making our predictions of the ladies' tournament and the world championship. And speaking of predictions, uh, a small correction, a large apology... Uh, during the last episode, you may have uh, seen that I placed my bet on uh, somebody named Ryan Hulky. Uh, turns out Ryan Hulky is uh, oh. not a big buck player. Uh, Bill Hulky, of course, is and is the one that came in last year. Uh, out of nowhere, seemingly put on quite a show. Bill, I'm sorry I got your name wrong, uh, but my money's still on you, my friend. All right. And going from there, why don't we just jump into the first segment of the show we are going to be talking about, Ranked Play. Yeah, Ranked Play. What is that, Cal? Sure, guys. Ranked Play is a competitive game mode that we put into Big Buck HD last year mm -hmm. that allows players of similar skill levels to be able to compete for national rank and bragging rights. That's right. I think we have a graphic for this. All right. Yeah, as you said, competing, for, uh, competing with rather similarly skilled hunters for bragging rights, you're going to be playing full animal adventures and or instant tourneys in this mode. Uh, and the ranks are based on your performance during 12-week periods. Uh, there are three ranks to earn and compete within. You see them right there. Shooter, Sportsman, and Master. And the best way to think about this, guys, is your bronze is your shooter, your silver is Sportsman, and your gold is your Master players. All right, yeah, yeah. And everybody, of course, is going to start out as a shooter and work their way up the chain. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in rank play. And each week we publish the top 50 pulled directly from our database of the rank play, but from now on, we will be bringing it live for the first time each week on Bucking Around every Thursday. Boom. So, <laughs> so we'll be putting it on our Facebook and our social media channels, which you guys can find down below. So make sure you give those a like and a follow. That's right. Um, we'll that's be, right. We'll be putting it there every week, but not until we talk about it here first. And I think we've got that graphic all right. Now, this leaderboard is constantly changing. There's always new faces on it, new talent, but something that seems to be always consistent is Ryan Hodsden either in first or nearby. That's right. Uh, you know, it seems that Ryan Hodston is to ranked play as Sarah Erlinson is to the ladies' tourney. Almost undefeated, except for one magical week where Joe Miller did the unthinkable and took that first place away from him. Magical. Let that be, it was magical. <laughs> Let that be a message to all of the hunters out there. It can be done, and I encourage you to try. Sorry, Ryan, they're coming for you. All right, guys, and as we unveiled last year at the World Championship, we have been doing a ranked play trophy, if you will. We'll yeah. be giving it out again this year at the World Championship. We'll have a little bit more news and announcements on that in a future episode. Yeah, let's take a look at that graphic, shall we? Sure. All right. We've got, we've got Ryan Hodgson here, uh, you know, getting his trophy. Yeah, <laughs> or, and, or rather, he would have been getting his trophy, right? It's a coveted trophy. So coveted, in fact, that somebody decided to run off with it, despite the fact that it had Ryan's name on it. Crazy. Listen, who does that? Trophy thief. Who does that? Yeah, we're coming for you. We'll yeah. find you. Wait, and we'll take that trophy back. I. No, I. I mean, I'll. Where? I'll stay. You can do that. I'll no. stay here. <laughs> Look, guys, it's not cool. Be good people at the World Championship. Brian worked hard for that trophy, and we're excited to see who is going to work even harder and try and take that coveted spot on number one. That's right. That's right. Uh, I think maybe we should throw it over to the chat. See what's going on today. Sure, right. Jess. What do you have for us? Um, I think we should go over how you can actually get started in ranked play. Oh, that's a good question. Not a bad idea. Can and we I... 
switch it over to that camera this right one in here? front of us. Yeah, let's see that real Is quick. Is that laptop in the way, Jess? Let me get this. Might be. I got that. I got oh, that. All right, guys. For just to get into rank play, just a quick little tutorial. You're just going to have your basic menu in a second. Right there, your basic menu is going to come up on the screen. Rank play is going to be all the way on the right. You're going to shoot into that one. You'll have your three options. You'll have rank play, instant tournaments, and instant high stakes. Now, your rank does affect what you can win in those high stake tournaments. So make sure you guys are playing hard to get up the ladder and get into that master and try and take home a little more cash. Otherwise, though, just shoot into rank play. Select how many players you guys are playing with. Select your treks, enter your personal information, and the game will take care of the rest. Yeah, you're off to the races. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this laptop back. A lot of movement on this episode. More than, <laughs> yeah. more than the last more one. More than the last. I'm not right. a fan. Yeah, what camera are we on now? <laughs> this right. one? Yep. Right, we're back on that one. Hello. Yeah. Excellent. But Hi. before we continue, oh. uh, should we go over the special thing that we have going on today? Yes. I don't know, that's like, an even better idea than the movement. Great idea. <laughs> All right, guys. First off, let's talk about the posters that we've Ooh. just put up. On coinup.com, just recently, as in I think within this week, we are now having oh, yes. our first qualifier poster. That's right. Well, I mean, we've had these in previous years, but these are now becoming available. Uh, yeah, we will point you in all the right directions to find these things, get them printed, uh, get them hung up in your bar, around your town, hang them on your grandmother's wall. <laughs> just make, all of the walls. Make sure she's prepared. Yeah, yeah, just make sure she knows about it. Uh, obviously, beautiful. there's going to be a new poster for every chunk of this tournament uh, and for all of the related tournaments. That's right, and you guys can find that up on coinup.com. Just head up to the top right corner of the website and it'll be right there just be able to click and download yeah not only exciting. that though mm -hmm. but we also have a raffle that we're going to be doing during this episode guys yep. oh. make sure jess ashley can you give us a little instruction on how they can enter the raffle so the raffle is open all you have to do is type an exclamation point raffle and then that will enter you into the actual raffle all right guys so you heard it from jess exclamation point raffle will enter you into a raffle which will announce the winners at the end of the episode in which you'll be winning some handy dandy Ooh, very firing useful. lines. Yep, yep. From, look at this, look at this. There it is. There oh it is. From the World Championship. <laughs> exclusive World Championship firing lines that we have, uh, we actually don't sell, we don't give out. We just no, really least, have them here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, so this is a rare opportunity to get your hands on uh, one of those. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about the, the firing lines. But yeah, by all means, get those uh, raffle entries going. You're going to want one of these. And I can see we've already got a little bit of action of people going yes, for them. So that's exciting yeah, and awesome. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's supposed to be a space Van Humison, so go back and take that space out. <laughs> but going forward, talking to the Van Humisons, let's talk about the Game Wardens. Yeah, the Game Warden program. That's an exciting new thing. Uh, what's that all about, Callum? Yeah, so the Game Warden program is something we started last year. It's basically a way to empower the uh, hardcore, avid community that we have, uh, a way we wanted to brand this street team, if yeah, you will. So yeah. what we did is we hand-selected, you know what? I'm going to stop myself. Why don't we roll the video that'll allow us to explain it a little bit better? That's a great idea. Jesse, can we see that? Big Buck Hunter Game Wardens are Big Buck's official street team, brand ambassadors, and the voices of the Big Buck community. Their mission? Expand the player community through events and leagues. Get more games into more locations. Get more people playing in cash tournaments. And be the voices of the Big Buck brand. Play Mechanics launched the program with nine dedicated and passionate players this year. These prominent players in the Big Buck community pioneered social events like Big Buck hunting leagues and hometown tournaments. While harnessing the power of social media to spread the word, they also showed off their hunting skills and endless knowledge of Big Buck Hunter at the Las Vegas Amusement Expo this year as celebrated special guests of Play Mechanics. Are you the next Big Buck Game Warden? As a Game Warden, you will be rewarded for recruiting new players and receive credit the more they play Big Buck HD. Place new games in new locations and earn cash. Organize big buck hunting leagues, create events to make money, and bring home exclusive prizes. Don't worry, you'll get help all along the way. Being a game warden won't impact your ability to compete in the Big Buck National Series or any other national live tournaments. So don't hold back. Follow your true calling. Become a big buck game warden. This year, we will be expanding the Game Warden community. If you have a passion for Big Buck Hunter, have the ability to engage people in the sport of tournament play, and enjoy the social aspects of the Big Buck community, we're saving your spot as an official Big Buck Game Warden. 
For more information, contact us at gamewarden at playmechanics.com. Doggy. <laughs> I was I genuinely just I don't think you could hear me, but during that video I was actually looking at Mike going, God, I'm dreading what you were gonna say after this one. You never know. He you never know. Gets so creative. You think I'm over here? I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, guys, as you saw, we had uh, the Game Warden program launched last year. It's an awesome community engagement program that we mm -hmm. are thrilled to be expanding on this year. But before we get into our expansions, why don't we talk about Last year's Wardens. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a quick look at the class of 2015. Oh, isn't this nice? It's like a nostalgia trip. All right, so let's just go down the line here and talk about uh, who the class was. So first we've got uh, Sarah Erlinson, uh, of course, the almost undefeatable ladies champion representing Wisconsin. Just a little bit to the west, Chris Freeman, Minneapolis. That's right. He won the world championship we had in New York. Very cool. Uh, Matthew Garver in Texas. Samantha Intriari, otherwise known as... Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Down in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> We've got uh, Drew Miklazak. I am sorry if I'm getting your name wrong there, buddy. Uh, in New York. Andrew Moskowitz out in San Francisco. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And we've got uh, Derek Tower representing my home state of Missouri. I know that. Yeah, yeah. And Melinda and Scott Van Humison out in Washington. I know Melinda and Scott are in the chat, so hello to you guys. Hi, guys. Mama hope, and Papa Big Buck right there. Hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> Thrilled to have you guys here with us. But why don't we take a little bit and talk about some of the events, some of the things that you guys can see and hope to see out of our current wave of uh, Game Wardens. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the class of 2015 was up to all kinds of cool stuff, and they put on all kinds of cool events. Uh, this is our opportunity to take a look at some of our favorites. I think we should probably start with the, the uh, world's largest beer bong festival. It does seem something that would cater to our audience. <laughs> yeah, maybe just a little bit. Uh, man, look at this. This is an engineering marvel. Incredible. <laughs> I, I love science. Look at this. I love, I love science. science. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they brought in somebody who really knew what they were doing on this one. We're talking about over 300 individual hoses that drains several kegs in just a few minutes. Uh, wow. Just wow. It's incredible. And not only that, guys, but they also put together one of the first outdoor Big Buck HD tournaments that was hosted at the Beer Bong event. Yeah, very, very cool. And if you watch the World Championship, you would know the venue is Clyde's Corner. As Jared Erlinson, the messiah of Big Buck, will mm -hmm. tell you it is the only place to train for the World Championship. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, moving right along to New York, let's take a look at some of the stuff that happened in New York. Uh, these aren't all from the same event, uh, kind of a smattering of events that have happened out there. Uh, we love those guys. Yeah, you know, Drew Miklasak is our game warden out in Brooklyn, and he has done an incredible job organizing events, organizing leagues. Uh, Drew, major shout out to you, major kudos. You have done an incredible job. We can't wait to work with you again in the yes. near future. An and exemplary game warden. Yes. Through this year. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Moving from New York, let's head over to Tampa, Florida, where yes. we have Meow Meow's Turf. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> so Samantha Intriari has done an awesome job putting together tournaments and leagues, and Speaking of Samantha and Triari, just had a kid. I think she was the first competitor at the World Championship to compete pregnant. Yeah, I, I, at or least at least that pregnant. In my memory, yeah. I mean, that was <laughs> that was uh, su that was super pregnant. Very <laughs> pregnant. Super <laughs> pregnant. Super yeah. pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far along are you? Uh, super I'm pregnant. But yeah, obviously, congratulations uh, to you, Meow Meow, for uh, bringing in the next generation of big buck hunters. In addition to spreading all the big buck love uh, as a game warden. That's What'd right. What did you say, Jess? <laughs> Oh, no, I just said I think her unborn baby um, is the youngest competitor, technically. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, on a technicality, yeah. On a technicality, she you might have Federico beat. Yeah, you might have your work cut out for you, Federico. I mean, I don't, I don't think he's going to get any say. younger. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get any younger. I haven't figured that out yet. I don't, I don't know about that one. But either way, Federico, if we're not including Sam's little baby as a competitor, <laughs> I think you are actually the youngest world championship competitor, if you qualify, yep. that we would have ever had. Yeah, yeah. If you qualify that, that's going to be a very big deal. I think our previous uh, youngest competitor in the world championship was 20 years old. 20. So, all right. Going from that, why don't we head to the west a little bit and head up to Vancouver, where we have the Van Humisons. Yes, the Vancouver Van Humisons. The yes. Vancouver Van Humisons. <laughs> I never thought about how convenient the, that is. The Van Hu the Van Humisons? What? No? I don't know. <laughs> hey, it looks like they're having a fun time. That's another event I wish I could have been at. That face Scott, style. always on point with that energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> always, always intense. Very extreme. <laughs> but, yeah. So, guys, none of this is to take any credit away from any of the other wardens or passionate players in the community. You guys are all excellent. We love to be a part of everything you do. So if you guys need advice, support, uh, just need some help getting something going, feel free to reach out to us at GameWarden at PlayMechanics.com. Yep. And we'll get in, as involved as you'll let us. <laughs> we'll yeah. be... 
the annoying ex-girlfriend that you don't want around. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to send it now to next year's, this year's most recent wave of wardens. We are proud to announce for the first time Here who our are. official class of 2016 Here they is. they are, the class of 2016. Oh, my gosh, there's so many more. And so, there's so, so many, many fish. fish. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go through the line here. Oh, all right, I see some all-stars right away. R.J. Anguiano, uh, he's definitely known around the big buck social cir circles for uh, posting photos of his beloved bulldog, Snoop. Uh, but that doesn't appear to be Snoop in that, in that photo. I believe that is a human child. <laughs> it could be, or Snoop has just grown. <laughs> well, they grow I'm up shrunk. so fast. You know? <laughs> All right, guys, moving on, we've got Nate Boyer in Wisconsin, one of the Scani snipers. Yeah, yeah, he's got a fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, he does. We've got, uh, what is that, Camden Carver in North Carolina. Uh, didn't get a picture in time for this broadcast, but you can count on seeing photos of him uh, in the near future. Christina Eddy out in Portland. Yeah. And we're going to come back to that as Christina just helped put together an awesome event out in Portland. Very, very nice, yes. Uh, Mike Forrest in Kansas, also a question mark face, just for now, not for long. Greg Hendricks out in Texas. Uh, yes, and we've got, oh, here he is again, Ryan Hodston. This show is just all about you, isn't it? <laughs> Ryan and Kylie Hodston, uh, kind of taking, taking a page out of the Van Humison book. We've got a, uh, a couple. Yeah, couple another, another one. There. Yeah, the uh, couple that hunts together stays together, and it turns out that they also make great game wardens. That's right. Kirsten Norris, another one of our Oregon hunters. Yes, looking very stylish in that hat, I might add. Uh, we've got... Uh, Mason Powell with the cross guns, looking real cool there in Oregon. Federico, read our young gun who is blowing up the chat as always. Federico, <laughs> we love that you're here and we love how passionate you are. Yes, yes indeed. And then we've got uh, Eric Schnitzer in Florida. Whoa, look at the size of that fish. Yeah, Eric's a huge fisherman. <laughs> I think he actually just got back from a three-day trip. Wow, wow, okay. Uh, Scott Sullivan, not technically holding a fish, or yeah, technically is holding a fish. I think a shark fish, is a fish. But it is a shark. Look at that shark. Probably it's, pulled it Scott, out of the ocean Scott himself. Scott is so yeah. happy we picked this photo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he fished that out with his bare hands. He looks like a badass. Going down the line. All right, we've got Eric Taylor in Kansas. Andrew White, who, if you were at the World Championship last year, would recognize as the guy in the middle of the dance floor busting out the worm. Yeah, he's got some moves. I had a chance to get to know him last year. And then, of course, we've got Julia Wilmot. In California, a longtime big buck player. Also, and arguably eating fish. I, was Maybe. I believe she she's could be eating fish. Eating Look fish. out, sea or creatures. Shellfish. <laughs> the game wardens are coming for you. Yeah, yeah, hey guys, yeah. Guys, and let me chime in with one more that we actually added in today to round uh, us out at 25 game wardens. Philip Beaupre from Maine. Hey, so, hey welcome to the party, Philip. We have more than doubled the class of game wardens over the last year. So, guys, we're incredibly excited to see what you guys put on uh, going forward. As always, you have my direct line, you have Jess as your contact, so make sure we are setting up some awesome events, helping you out as much as we can. From that, let's talk into some recent events that one of our game wardens put on. Yeah, a couple yeah. of our game wardens. Yeah, I do believe that uh, there was just recently a Big Buck bar crawl in Portland. You got that up? All right, look at that. Man, look, you, you talk about events that I wish I was at. I love Portland, and I love everyone in this photo. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize you threw that back to me. Yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the Portland bar crawl, I was distracted by the chat. Everyone's yeah, yeah. going off on the wardens. Guys, the Portland bar crawl was awesome. The talent, the, the talent of all the players that were there, the friendliness of everyone involved, you guys are incredible. I've wanted a bar crawl to happen for so long, I can't see how it would be not fun. Yeah. So yeah. major props to everyone out in Portland who made that happen. Fantastic. Christina, the Van Humisons, RJ, Mason, all of you guys, I'm super stoked to see what you guys come up with next. Yeah, super cool. And moving into the future, the yes. near future. That's right. RJ Anguiano actually has a tournament tomorrow. Whoa. So if you're in the Portland area or Vancouver yeah. or anywhere in that vicinity, make sure you guys reach out to RJ. If you don't have RJ's contact information, reach out to me at gamewarden at playmechanics.com and I will be sure to situate you, get you set up, and get you ready to go and hopefully take out that tournament tomorrow. Yeah, hey, maybe Snoop will be there. Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> I can't imagine Snoop wouldn't be there if RJ's there, uh, yeah. but maybe. Anyway, guys. Be there or be square. Be there or be square. <laughs> yeah. If, guys, <laughs> Game Wardens, make sure you guys are keeping an eye on your mailbox. We're going to be sending out swag and also the official Game Warden player cards, Ooh. which are super slick black, jet black cards. I'm super excited to yeah. have those in your hands. So keep an eye. That'll be out soon. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, we like helping you guys out as much as possible. Uh, should we take a look at what's going on in the chat? I think everyone is talking about our Wardens, our mm -hmm. Class of 2016 yeah, we've yearbook. Got, we've yeah. got people throwing out who their favorite Wardens are and what everybody's been up to. It's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Awesome. The Van Humisons are going to be at the RJ tournament tomorrow. Where is the tournament at, Justin? That's 
a very good question. I can't remember the name of the location off the top of my head. Yeah, we'll get you hooked I up. I will have info. it for you as soon as possible. It's on the Buck Hunters page if you are a member. If you are not a member, as I said, reach out to me at gamewarden at playmechanics.com. Yep. And I will get you taken care of as soon as possible. Fantastic, yeah. So, uh, let's move on, shall we? Let's we, talk about who's keeping the lights on. There's a lot of lights. That, that, we have a lot of lights on in here. So that would be the Big Buck General store, guys. Yeah. No one knows it better than Jess. But before we send it to her, let's roll the clip. Do you love Big Buck Hunter? Of course you do! Outfit yourself, your family, and your hunting party with all new gear from the online Big Buck General Store. Browse the latest designs or create your own at bigbuckhd.com slash store. Holy shirt, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle these. I'm seriously, I, uh, I'm glad it's you in here and not Anthony, though, because the Anthony <laughs> puns would just be, literally all of his lines would be puns. Yep, yep. So, I just. Think that, I think that promo gave a, gave a good glimpse at um, how awesome our gear is, but um, you can obviously check out our store. We have an ever-growing selection. There's a new design added every single month, so... Um, you can always expect some new stuff in there. And if you want, you can also design your own, just like the um, video showed, where you can pick your gear, you can pick your design, um, you can get really creative with it. So make sure after you watch the show, you head to the general store and um, get some new swag for your friends and family. So everyone's decked out in some big buff gear. Fantastic, fantastic. And it sounds like we might have a way to help you do just that. Oh, yes. So I already, I already let uh, the chat in on the secret, but... There's a promo code specifically for our Twitch viewers. It's promo code, the number five, B-U-C-K-S, for $5 off your order. So wow. um, that'll help you out a lot, too. A whole $5? <laughs> That's almost like a free shirt. <laughs> hey, hey, it is, actually. You can get a lot. <laughs> no, I just want to give a little shout-out to the people in the chat coming up with these lines that are cracking me up left yeah. and right. We've got... Doe lives matter and all deer lives matter under hashtags, <laughs> which would be absolutely hilarious. I don't know if we can do that, but that is awesome. You yeah, can't deny it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dance around that one. Yeah. Hey, moving on, guys. Yeah, we love this community. But speaking of community, I think we should hand it sponsors. Sponsor. How to become a sponsor? I'm how sorry. Do you Let's do back that? that up real quick. I think we've got a graphic for this too. So. If you are interested uh, in taking over the sponsor zone, it's very simple. Uh, just check out that email address at the bottom of the screen. This is a perfect way for you to promote your uh, brand, your small business. If you've got congrats or happy birthdays to send, uh, or you just want to make Callum and me say or do stupid things within the realm of legality and beyond what we normally do, good taste. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's a great way to to just kind of become part of the show. So check that out. All right, and now we've shown some love to the store. We've shown yes. some love to Rank Play, the Game Wardens. Why don't we show a little bit love, a little bit of love to the community with the Buckshot of the Week. Jess? All right. I am so excited for this Buckshot of the Week because it is entertaining to say the least. So let's roll it. Here we go. Now, this, this Buckshot of the Week is by far my favorite for this week because it shows one of the greatest <laughs> things about the Big Buck Hunter community, getting everybody together to have fun, um, play the game, just be yourself, and enjoy your time together. So I, I love that video because it's hilarious, and obviously these guys got creative and uh, put their chest out on the line. So <laughs> out on I, the think, line. I think that's definitely, they definitely earned their spot this week. So thank you, Michael McClellan, for uh, sharing that content with us. Trevor, Gar Trevor Gartner, no, sorry. James Kennington, last week you asked for a little bit of nudity. You asked, we provided. As I said, James Kennington asked for that, so I hope you're happy. That's James Kennington. <laughs> with a J. He All asked right, for guys. that. Moving on, let's jump into the top five things before we do this <laughs> raffle to give these uh, firing lines out some ways that they can prepare for the qualifiers. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Would you like to kick off the countdown, Cal? I sure would, Mike. Thanks. Be my guest. All right, guys, make sure you're practicing. At number five, at number five, make sure you're practicing all animals and bonus, bonus games, rounds, rounds games, games, rounds, games. Yeah. 
At the World Championship, guys, you will see a wide variety of different animals and different bonuses. So make sure you don't just master one, you actually perfect all of them. Very, very good. Yes, yes. Moving on to number four, master the art of shootout. Of course, when you are uh, playing in the qualifying tournament, it's going to be just you versus the machine, baby. But hey, listen, when you're on that, uh, that main stage at the World Championship, you're going to have company. You're going to have a rival standing right next to you looking to take your place, and more importantly, your money. Uh, so, hey, when you get a chance, take some time and get comfortable with shootout because that's, that's what you're ultimately going to be competing in. At coming in at number three, respect the line. At the World Championship, mm. you will be required to shoot behind firing lines, like go, exactly these, yep. actually. And yep. these will be placed at 18 inches from the game, putting you at 21 inches away from the game. So make sure when you're at home, you're not practicing front up to the gun, making sure you're in the screen. You guys have to be at designated distance away, which our game wardens at the World Championship will be looking out for. That's right, that's right. They're there to lay down the law. Uh, moving on to number two, organize practice tourneys. Now this is already happening thanks to our game wardens, uh, but this is something anybody can do. Uh, get used to performing under the pressure of a tournament structure. Uh, you can do this with a chalkboard or a whiteboard or whatever. Just get some buddies together uh, and get used to, uh, to kind of being in the zone, being in the spotlight uh, and performing well. And last but not least, guys, perfect your big buck buzz, whether that's alcohol, sugar, energy drinks, or nothing at all. The World Championship competitors and players can tell you stories about how they have to get in the zone, get in the ritual, do their little dance before getting on stage. So make sure you guys are practicing how you plan on competing and compete how you practice. Yeah. Get in your element, get in your zone, and kick some ass at the World Championship. <laughs> yeah, that's the bottom line, right? you got to be in the zone to do well. Uh, so without further ado... I think, I think we can uh, do the raffle. I think it's maybe, to, maybe time to figure out who won this thing, huh? Jess, right, can you give us it. three winners from the raffle? Okay, so we've got, oh, I cannot say this, C. Zaroma, C -Zaroma. who C -Zaroma. is our first winner. Fantastic. We've got Meaty underscore Ochre. Meaty Ochre, I like that. Yeah. Oh, I get it. And then we've got, <laughs> then we've got Owens 18, Owens said 18, as our third winner. So I just announced those in the chat. So I will also be direct message messaging you guys to get your addresses to send your firing lines. Yeah, fantastic. Cheers, guys, and congratulations. Like just said, uh, we will be in touch to get your uh, shipping information so we can get those to you post haste. While we're on the topic of firing lines, Jen, just to answer your question, how many feet away from the, uh, from the machine is the line? The lines are 18 inches from the game, so you will effectively be standing at 21 inches. Yeah. So yeah. that'll Important answer you. Detail. If you didn't win these firing lines, we'll be giving them away again in the near future, I think. Yeah, I think Seem so. Seem to be a popular commodity going into the qualifiers. Yeah, yeah. So. And if you are one of the lucky ones today, enjoy it. Uh, practice. You may need to ask your bar owner if it's cool to put it down first, but chances are they'll be cool with it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the show. But before we do that, why don't we give a little bit of thanks to the people who made this all possible? Yes, yes, indeed. This is something we meant to do in our first episode, but due to time constraints, we weren't able to get to. But hey, today we can do it. Uh, take a look at this set. Look at this. I love the internet bar. I'm sad that I have to face away from it so often. Uh, this would not be possible if not for the tireless efforts of the one and only Mark Ritchie. Thank you for sacrificing your fingers with all those power tools and jagged pieces of wood and stuff like that to make this happen. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, we also had support from Ken Hale doing our intro video. We had additional audio support from David Gonzalez. Uh, John Sukiati, our lead environment artist, it turns out is also very, very knowledgeable at AV, so he helped us get kind of the tech sorted out. And then, of course, George, our fearless leader, thank you for taking a chance on us and letting us do this crazy thing. Uh, thank everyone for making all this possible, and thank you guys for being here. Oh, oh warm and fuzzy. <laughs> all right, guys, We're as friends. always, make sure you're following our channels. They're all listed down below. Give the channel a like, a follow, a subscribe, if you will. Share it with your friends and family, your grandmothers, your grandfathers, <laughs> your great-great-grandmothers, if they're still around. <laughs> really, just whoever you can. Get the word out there for yeah. the show, Bucking Around. We're going to be here every Thursday at 4. I'm Callum. I'm Mike. I'm Jess. And I'm Captain Moose Tracks. <laughs> Guys, have a good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>